Hey, what's going on guys? Captain Richard and Jackie, and we are back with another Tackle Tip. I get asked uh, often, what is a MUP rig? Uh, if you've read our fishing reports on Facebook or Lake Ontario United, in the past we may have mentioned a MUP rig or we, uh, we mupped spoons. MUP stands for mag up. It was a term I believe was coined back at the Oak. Uh, and it's a, it's a uh, presentation we use a lot when we're running spoons on Lake Ontario for salmon and trout. So we've got our main line, we hook a regular size spoon to it, we send it back 10 or 15 feet, hook it into the release on the downrigger and send it down 10 feet. Right above it we are going to put a spoon that is very similar in color but it's going to be a mag size spoon. We will half hitch a rubber band to the main line of the rod and then to take the cheater, hook your swivel to the rubber band and the main line and that will keep that spoon 10 feet above your main line spoon. And then we'll send this down. Um, rubber bands we use are not big, they're just small. You basically just wrap it around the line, come through and it creates a little knot in your line um, and you hook your cheater to it. The presentation seems to work really well when you're fishing 40, 50 foot and deeper. Uh, we use it a lot come late summer, early fall when we're offshore fishing salmon down deep. Uh, you know, after the, the summer heat has warmed up Lake Ontario, a thermal client can be anywhere from 70 to 90 foot down. That's when this rig really shines, uh, and we do a lot of damage on, on really nice salmon down there. Um, you can use it with just about any spoon manufacturer, any spoon color. There are some, uh, some spoons in a top five spoon video that I made I will, uh, that I will talk about that work really well with this presentation, especially when your thermal client is down 70, 80, 90, or 100 foot. So I will, uh, I will put that video in the description below and you can watch that video. But next time you're out and you are running spoons, uh, try out a mup rig. Um, I very rarely put spoons in the water without putting some sort of cheater on that same rod. And I feel like uh, if I don't put that cheater line in there, I am missing opportunities at fish. And in a later video, we'll go over different types of cheaters and, and when I'd like to use those. Uh, so stay tuned for that video, and uh, I hope this helps put a few fish in the cooler, guys.